To all the victims of gang stalking, this video is for you. I want you to listen very carefully to what this female is saying. Keep in mind, she's in Bellevue um, Psychiatric Hospital, I believe it's in New York. Watch, watch how this plays out. Watch what she's saying. Listen to what she's saying. The environment. I'm being zapped by the CIA. I, um, there's a double bind in talking about it. As soon as you say CIA, they want to medicate you and uh, keep you incarcerated. And um, let's see. see, I have to move around when the radiation comes in. Why do you just do that? Uh, it throws off the radiation. Claire? Because um, as long as you talk like that, you're never going to get out of here. I had to stop saying what I said. It's no it's no different than what I was chanting, how to spell S-A-K-E-L-E-R-E-T-O-S. It's part of the sickness and the medication is the only thing that helps you. It's true, I didn't want to admit it. Take your medication and relax, calm medication down. Medication is torture. It's not torture. If, it was, if, you, if you're feeling side effects from it, then you need to let your doctor know. I know it's a very hard environment getting to even talk to your doctor. He doesn't come around every day. I think if they want someone to medicate and incarcerate, they should pick the people who tried to strangle me and who worked for the CIA. They should be subjected to this punishment because it's torture. The medication is torture and the um, incarceration is torture. I could go home, but I don't know. Intelligent than you are. You sniveling dogs. I'm Heru. Heru the top martial artist. Horus the transcendent. The golden Horus the conqueror. Go through these interview, this interview playlist with me real quick. So, atheistic Satanist interview, Sinjo's one, two, three, four. Um, interview with the person who was there when you saw the military guy. Interview uh, with the gang stalker, gang stalker briefing at 20s. Another gang stalker interview, gang stalking catfish debriefing, breaking down that interview. 10 um, clips from interviews, interview with three people about gang stalking, interview with Jolie, one through four. And then, so here, um, this video was made in 2011. And so it was reposted in, on that churn channel in a different day, like probably 2012 or 13. <clears throat> then there's this video. Let me just go ahead and, you know, put on mute. Go ahead and click this. Um, I wanted to be done by now, but okay. Basically, this video is early 2012 or 2011. It shows you that not only do I, you know, am I bragging about my martial arts achievements in 2011, which shows that I've been working out, but it doesn't really show it for po proof positive. But this one, this is the oldest channel that I have still up. The first one was called Platinum Loco. And wow, it's not letting me, uh, you know, see that, it's, it's loading. There we go. Uh, so let me let me um, make it smaller. Let's go default. Let's go even smaller. So you can, it shows up. You can see the whole thing. All right. Go smaller. Okay. So you can see by my body. I don't think I have to explain to you that I was training martial arts, you know, for quite some time before this. Um, this pretty much shows you that since 2010. I was back training martial arts intensely, but definitely 2011. Okay, now let's go bigger. Um, so then we go, um, this one. Look at the date, 2012. Next one, 2013. I'm talking about how to do combos that I'm wearing. This is an old Kung Fu Gi from when I was like 15 or 16. That's what I used to wear. And one of my comfort places, and I can't go into detail about that. Now this is 2014.
to him. And this is 2015. Okay, the last two are the end ones from the channel. This is how I ended the temple, uh, the Mechalook channel with the uploads for now. And this next one is how I ended the Robot channel with the uploads for now. And they both show, you know, a whole lot of talent. And then I'm gonna eventually, after I upload this next video that I've made, it's, it's waiting in the editor. You know, it's already processed. I mean, it's waiting in the videos on private. I'll upload that to show you how I end the, um, James Jackson channel or the last martial art channel. So yeah, so I've shown you, you know, that I've been doing this martial arts since 1997 when I got the trophy, you know, for sh on record. This is just on record. And then for the last, you know, since 2010 through 2015 on record. Thank you. So, um, I'm gonna go over this. I've gone over it on my Facebook and I didn't feel like digging up the videos and trying to upload them and go through all the cyber attacks. So, Basically, you know, it brings me no pleasure, but it has to be said that just like every other movement, the major black movements are controlled by Satanists. First, I'm going to give you Yuck Mouth, okay? Uh, his father was in the BGF, according to him, and I've seen some pictures, supposedly his father, you know, big guy. I think it was on one of his albums or something. Okay, and then he, at one point he had the group called Raging Thug Lords. So yes, let me play this part. Playing a part of any Christ, right? That's what he says. I brought up how the dragon, which is also a symbol of the BGF, is a satanic symbol. Communism is anti-Christian. Um, the dragon symbol is an anti-Christian symbol. It's a symbol of Satanism. It's used by a lot of satanic groups. You know, I could go through the secret societies and the organized crime groups that use these symbols, but. I beat that to a dead horse, you know. I'm a beat that. That's a dead horse I've beaten thoroughly. <laughs> anyway, so let's go on. Um, this Killer Tay album, Thug Religion. I think it's, this album goes back to 2001. So he says, Secret Society, his main foe, he's still waiting, debating, he's still debating, waiting on his guardian angel, right? Very interesting way to put it. Okay, so. Most of this album, it gives you the impression that he's against Babylon system, white power structure, secret societies, so on and so forth. But in reality, in actuality, so not only was he protected by the Masons with 33% degree, it's going to be retaliation if they ever merge. This is a guy who claims Crip and West Coast Mafia and so on and so forth. So why is he saying, well, the Masons are protecting me and they're going to retaliate if anyone ever murders me? Why does, it, why does it feel the need to say that? You know? Well, it shows you that well, I've been arguing for a long time. There are secret societies that are in the communist movement. They've infiltrated their religious movement, Christian movements. Even the the Christian elements of hip hop, and I thoroughly explore why that is in other videos. Again, this brings me no pleasure. I have no personal gain, nothing to gain from this. Only you know, it's just what I what I what I have to do. Expose you know the things that I say, and I have to give you proof. Okay, you know the proof is in the pudding. They said it themselves. 
You know, the guy said flat out, playing a part of Antichrist's team. And that's what communism is. So the BGF promotes. It's anti-Christian. And Paris, in one of his songs, you know, talks about, you know, turn the other cheek and all that hoopla. And he says things like this, you know, he, he basically takes shots at Christians. Um, one of the, you know, and that's probably the major point I disagree. I agree with him about a lot of things. I agree with Kelly Tay about a lot of things. But this secret society thing, just, you know. And of course, I don't think I have to explain to you. Um, I'll tell you what the song is. I'm not going to play it. Because, you know, for obvious reasons. Okay, uh, Okay, AWOL, Mafia Royalty, Kilate, LaRue, Luni Colion, Lena Rowe, my family music video. And I assume, and I could be wrong, that she's a northerner, female, but even if she's not, we all know that the Crips and the Northerners had a working relationship at one point, and some of them still do. So they're quite aware of the secret society, okay? And it includes them as well. And that's why they didn't stand with me against the Bohemian Grove, you know. They showed the New World Order which side they're on. They have a lot of vested interests, a lot of things. Don't be surprised when the people who do what they do, do what they do. Gangsters always talk about they're about their money, they're about their money. Who do you think prints the money? Who do you think controls the monetary system? Who do you think they bootleg to? You know, are they revolutionaries or are they about their money? I think you all know the answer to that. I don't think I have to explain that one. How, you know, I would hope I wouldn't have to explain that one. <laughs> well, that's all I really need to make for this video. I'll leave it there.